Good morning. How y'all doing? All right. Well, every day people come from all over. They come from Michigan. They come from Texas. They come from New York. Brooklyn's always in the house, right? <laughs> people come here because here is where dreams come true. And in L.A. to L.A., that's exactly what our lead character, Angelique Bro, does. You see, Angelique is from Louisiana. And back home, since she was a little girl, everybody told her she was going to be a star. She could write, she could dance, she could never sing, but she had star quality. So in 2010, when she graduated from college, she packs up her car and she moves to L.A. Because this is where her dream is going to come true. Except... When she gets to L.A., she figures out she's a very small fish in this huge, vast ocean that we call Hollywood. Nothing is working. She tries to go on auditions. She doesn't have the right look. She's to this, she's to that, and she's way, way country. <laughs> no one is feeling her. And on top of that, she's broke. I mean, like, really broke. Like the landlord knocking on the door broke. The lights are flickering. She can't pay her bills broke. Nothing is going right, and this dream has turned into a nightmare. So one day, randomly, she's been here for a year, things aren't working, she gets a call from her grandma. And her grandma is super excited because the film industry has come to Louisiana and it's booming. They're actually filming a movie in the next town over and Granny and her friends are gonna be extras. She makes, <laughs> she, <laughs> she makes some random comment about how people should always want to come home and invest in what's going on at home. And this gets the wheels turning for Angelique. And once again, she packs up her little car and she goes I-10, this time going southeast, and she finds herself back at home. But when she's home, she remembers all the reasons she left. It's a small town. The stores close at 9, the speed limit is 45, and everybody is always trying to feed her because, girl, you went to L.A. and got way too skinny. <laughs> so um, now that Angelique is back home, she's confronted with everything that she left. And, you know, all these dreams that she had that used to fuel her are now depressing her. But it's home. And when you're at home, there are people who love you no matter what. So she's got her family, she's got her friends, and she's got a high school principal that always believed in her. So he gives her an opportunity. Why don't you come to the school? You could teach drama to the kids after school. Of course, she's like, no, I'm like a star. I don't have time to be working with these kids. But of course, she goes, she falls in love with them because these kids are artists, just like she was. And as much as she's teaching them acting and technique, they're teaching her about this new thing, because remember, it's like 2011, and YouTube is popping. So they teach her about YouTube. Together, they create a web series starring the kids, and this new creativity, it calms down the self-doubt that Angelique has been feeling. It also calms down her adversaries, you know, the girl who stayed home and became big deal around town, who, of course, is the parent of one of her star students. She also finds help from the very cute and still single basketball coach who used to be her boyfriend back in the day. <laughs> L.A. to L.A. is a comedy feature with strong dramatic elements, and it answers the question that all of up. us have. It answers the question that all of us have. Is the thing that we search for in the big city attainable and possible right here at home? I'm Davida Chanel Smith, and this is L.A. to L.A. Wow. Great job. Um, you should start the pitch off with letting us know whether, it, whether it's a feature or, you know, an episodic project. Because you didn't say that till the end. So I, I was confused as, as to where we were going. Okay. Uh, so start your pitch off with that. Great. <laughs> <laughs> well, I like your story. I, I, I think it is uh, one that I'm a little bit familiar with, so it, it doesn't feel particularly original. However, um, I'd like to know, and is, is any of the story that you're telling me backstory? Because you've, you've gone on a journey with, with uh, this young woman. She's come to LA. Is this, it, are we seeing her as she's coming back to Louisiana? In other words, is some of this done in a very, very brief, um, in a in a very brief uh, start to the movie, and then um, we get into the story when she comes back home? 
I, I just want to know sort of how you see this laying out because going to to LA and seeing her uh, over a, you know a 15 minute period in a movie failing is not really what I have in mind for the character. It's not it's not really an upbeat part of the story. Um, so I'd I'd like to suggest to you that you lay some of that out as a backstory. And then, you know, maybe we pick her up as she's driving back to Louisiana, having not succeeded in LA, and then picking up, you know, in her grandma's house when she arrives home. And, you know, so, so we get a sense of the, the other characters in her life, um, kind of where she is as she arrives, and then um, decisions that she has to make in order to get her, her life back on track. Since it's a feature, it's got a beginning, middle, and end. And um, you know, I, I'd like to know a little bit more about how the story plays out once she's home and she interacts with the old boyfriend and she interacts with the old rival, et cetera. I, I'd like to know more about that um, because I, I, wanna, I wanna understand how this movie builds and why, in fact, I would be interested in watching it all the way through. <laughs>